Hello Taurus, this is your reading for November. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Just for your information guys, your reading actually was before Pisces and I recorded a 15 plus minute video and um, I don't know what the hell went wrong with it. So here I am again, I had to take a breather in between um, Pisces and your reading, but I wanted to come back to you. Okay, let's see what's currently going on around my Taurus friends for the month of November. Please show me what's going on around Taurus for the month of November. Okay, that one wanted to come out is just sticking out there. Um, the sun, you know, when I first did your reading the pre shuffle, I saw the sun. Um, so I feel like this is you guys awakening to something. You're really trying hard to get your happy or get your happy back for some of you here with um, this Leo energy. There's something that you are also acknowledging, I feel. <clears throat> What's currently going on? was challenging my Taurus friends. There could definitely be a Leo individual that is significant for some of you, but I feel primarily this is your energy. What is challenging my Taurus friends? The world starting over, learning what you need to learn in order to be happy and move forward. This world energy is ruled by Saturn, which rules karma. Karma, uh, karma is lessons essentially, okay? What we came into this life to learn and move forward from. So there's something that's kind of holding you guys back from being able to have that new start that you are actually looking for. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and um, Aquarius energy there with the world. This is a very fixed energy. I feel like um, for some of you, like I said, you, there's a blockage here, um, not wanting to, not necessarily not wanting to, but having a hard time changing your perspective about something is what I'm getting, okay? What is the underlying issue here for Taurus? Underlying issue for Taurus, Ace of Swords, realizing what you need to do in order to have this happiness, seeing the truth for yourself, okay? That is what this is. Let's see what this is. Yeah, seeing the truth so you can move forward successfully, whether this is in a relationship, your one-on-one -on -one relationships, because this is the card of cancer, okay? Home, family, one-on-one -on -one relationships here. This is what you're wanting to do. You're wanting to be successful. And I feel like what makes you comfortable. And I think what makes you comfortable is, is having that, that home network, that home feeling. Okay? Um, being at ease even. Okay? In the recent past for Taurus. What was going on in the recent past for Taurus? Page of Swords. You guys have been thinking about things, but as a page, not thinking seriously about things, not having a conversation, um, just kind of coming to certain realizations, but really not speaking on it. Okay, so I, I'm getting that there's there's some kind of breakthrough that's trying to happen for you guys with this sun energy. There's there's something that's pulling you towards enlightenment. But you guys haven't completely just kind of let go and embrace what is going on around you. I feel you're, you're struggling with that. You have two majors here. You're struggling with that. Okay. This is energy that's external to you. Something is, is pulling you. The energy is pulling you to open your eyes, to open your heart, to open your realm, um, your perspective. Okay. <clears throat> Crowning thoughts for Taurus. Could definitely have an air sign that is significant to you guys. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Crowning thoughts for Taurus. King of Pentacles. You know, 
there's there's a lot that you're trying to figure out um, as far as your finances are concerned and as far as what you want in a relationship or who you want in a relationship but you definitely have um, this energy of, of being very stable and mature on your mind okay trying to think logically about things trying to do things logically I feel that a lot of you have thrown yourselves into your work um, because right now that's what's comfortable for you worrying about these relationship matters I think that makes you a little uncomfortable at this point okay even though I see that you are thinking about some things that happened in the past with this page of Saurus energy but I don't think you're saying much about it okay I feel like this high priestess energy is here as well you know you you're just kind of thinking about things kind of like going over things in your mind but you're not really sharing okay there's somebody I feel that you have your eye on that you're observing you're observing their actions how they're moving okay <clears throat> what's coming in for Taurus it's coming in for Taurus the star Aquarius energy healing hope having hope in a situation your soulmate okay your destiny is what's coming in for you as soon as you guys open up further your perspective your soulmate is coming in for you. What it is that you're supposed to be doing. What's going to be comfortable, secure, and, and happy for you. How is Taurus viewing this situation? How is Taurus viewing this situation? Oh, dang. You're confused. Okay. There's several cards here, but the first one I see is the Seven of Cups. You're confused about your feelings. Scorpio energy judgment I feel like this is you're having a hard time deciding what to do about someone some of you feel like should you make an apology should you not is that what's good in this situation is it too late it's like you're studying something here you're studying something here and I feel like that is if you should just move on by yourself you know do what's best for you and really not look back so, you know, you're weighing things here. Um, I do feel that either someone did some really shitty stuff to you or you feel like you've done some shitty stuff to somebody else and maybe there's no coming back from it. Maybe it's too late. Um, but either or. Either or is a situation here. Somebody left this situation and um, they didn't leave it in the most honorable way is a thing okay so Aquarius Scorpio um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy is present there what is the influence here for my Taurus friends influence for Taurus six of wands of de definitely you want to be successful definitely you want things to work out you want things to go in your favor okay you don't want any conflict you want to be happy you want to be noticed for your efforts um, you don't want somebody pointing the finger at you and saying okay you did this and you did this and remember this and you know you just want to be able to move forward and um, sheesh and you know just be successful from here on out and not like really just staying in the past staying lost in the past and and past wrongs and and playing the blame game with someone okay again leo energy some of you guys are you know trying to 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 really come to a decision about dating starting over Again, the Seven of Swords energy here, like letting bygones be bygones, whatever happened in this situation, just, you know, just letting sleeping dogs lie and move forward and see what else that you, you know, can involve yourself in. <clears throat> Hopes or fears for Taurus. Hopes or fears for Taurus. Five of Wands. Yeah. 
your fear is that you know you will never really know what it is that for sure what you want to do um, that you will always be conflicted about this past situation because something is unsettled here is the thing there is unfinished business I feel with someone from the past you guys are struggling about moving on okay and just letting this past situation be just that in the past so you want to be able to make some headway one way or the other I feel like this person in the past you guys really want to you think you want to let this go you know in your head consciously you want to let this go but subconsciously there's something that's pulling you back to this person I feel okay What's the overall outcome for Taurus? Knight of Cups. Some of you guys are actually deciding in the month of November to start dating again, um, to pursue other outlets. But some of you are deciding to try to rectify some past hurts from the past. <clears throat> to go and dispel these um, disagreements, these different points of views, opening up your perspective, listening to someone else, trying to bridge that gap, trying to work things out with someone. Okay? So this is what is, is coming in for you guys, I feel, in November going into December and quite possibly January, guys. Scorpio energy there as well. <laughs> Excuse me. So that is what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.